Alright, so I've done pretty much everything in the game. So I thought I'd make a guide to finding the uh, the caches hidden all around the map. Uh, this includes perk magazines, silver bars, money, ammo, etc. Uh, I'm not talking about the prepper stashes here, but the tips I give can help with those too. And I made a playlist for all the different stashes, so if you're interested in them, uh, you can find that on my channel. So first, if you didn't know, every property that you liberate from the cult, uh, the locations with special markings, they all have silver caches. Uh, some are more hidden than others. Uh, they're almost always in a safe, so you're going to need the lock picking perk or a blowtorch to open them. And second, almost every location has something to do or has something to pick up there. So if you find a spot that seems empty or there's not much going on, you should definitely look harder because there's probably something you're missing. Alright, so my first tip is to look for a bunker door on the ground around the property. If you're, so if you're having trouble finding anything at a certain location, um, there's a bunch of these in the game. They're usually found behind the house on the ground or they're hidden in a shed. Uh, you can find some good stuff down here. Usually there's a note or an answering machine with some story insight. They usually look like this with a hatch, but sometimes um, they could be steps that lead down. Um, all these bunkers pretty much look the same. You usually have like a perk magazine and some ammo. Alright, Ness, this is the uh, the last best resting place. Uh, you're going to see these little white crosses all around the map. They let you know that a hidden cache is in an area. Uh, usually behind some uh, wooden planks that you need to break. So you can see right here on this gravestone that there's that white cross and then directly behind it is the cache. You have to break the planks. Uh, the planks could be on the ground like that. And they're, they're usually not that close to the cross. So you have to search the whole, the whole area. And sometimes they're on shed doors. You can break the planks to get into the shed or the shed windows. You can break the planks. and they're, But they're not always on the ground. Like here at Eden's Gate Greenhouse. You can see the white cross. But in order to get the cache you have to go up. And you go on top of this windmill and it's up here. So when you see the cross you have to search the whole area. You know, not just the ground, you have to go up, down, look for breakable stuff, and then you'll usually find it. Also, just in general, you just have to think outside the box, so... So here at Eden's Covenant, I know there's going to be like a silver silver cache somewhere, I couldn't find it. So you, you always want to check the second floor, or the third floor, the different floors. There, there might not always be steps that lead you right to it. So you want to climb up, usually there's like, a, you could just jump up like that, or there's scaffolding that you can climb up and then go into a window. Uh, here was here was the safe with the silver, that, uh, I already got everything. Uh, next, I've seen like four or five of these, you'll find refrigerators. They'll be open, but the top will be closed, but if you shoot it, you can open up the top, and there's usually stuff hidden inside. Uh, and at this particular place, there was a key in here. So I was able to get the key here to open up the door in the back and then get all the hidden supplies in this little shed. Um, this is not as as regular. That was like I've only seen that like four or five times. Another thing to look for is the, for box cars that are on their sides. You can't see the opening, but if you climb up, uh, usually it's open, and then you can drop down, and there's uh, some hidden stuff. I know one of the properties had. Um, their silver silver was um, hidden here and then don't forget you could also check the normal box cars not just the ones turned on their side alright last so this is like one of the um, rare ones like where you really have to think outside the box I couldn't find the key so I was randomly just looking for it and then I knocked off this box and I found the key that was hidden on top of uh, Jesus' head. And then you can see the white cross and it tells me there's something here. So I used the key and, I, and it let me get into the uh, this secret cache here. Alright, so that's all my tips. I was just trying to help you guys out to find all this stupid shit that's hidden all around the map. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye.